guys, it's Jenny here again. Today I was offered the opportunity to do some healing work. Now, I don't know much about it. I'm just gonna go there and see what's up, but I thought why not bring you guys with me and let's experience it together. So I'll see you guys from the healing room. I'm excited. been calling it Marlo. Is that is that fine? Marlo's healing ah. universe. And this is my dear friend Marlo. I whoa you see I'm so excited. You see the excited energies that are here? So grateful to have you today. Ready for the session. I know. So tell me I want to know because I was telling them I'm not quite sure what the session is about. Um what's it called? So quantum healing hypnosis technique was it's a modality created by Dolores Cannon, okay. who's written 18 books on the subject. Um, each chapter um, of her books, especially Convoluted Universe, books one through five, each chapter is a session of quantum healing hypnosis. And powerful stuff. We get to explore past lives. Uh, we explore maybe one or two or three past lives, depending, depending how long they are. Um, and after, the most powerful part of this technique is when we call in the subconscious. It's a higher part of you that gives you all the answers, which we, I tend to call the intuition. That's a, that's a great way, yeah, for, and for people to, to get it too, because right. you know, you can say higher self, but it's like, who's the higher self? But right. intuition, yeah, and it's always there with us. Always with we us. We tend to not us. listen to it all the time. I mean, it happens to me, I don't always listen to None it. None of us do, so. <laughs> so you think this healing session is gonna help me maybe connect with my intuition more and? Most definitely, because okay. you know, we, we have, we all have those, those answers within us, but we don't listen to them. In this technique, when you're under the hypnosis, we have a direct link to that, and all the answers to your questions come through. Plus, powerful healings. I mean, I've seen some really powerful stuff. Um, like, I mean, it could be anything from mental to physical. No expectations. I mean, <laughs> Ooh, and, uh, uh, we'll leave it at that. But <laughs> no expectations. Anything can happen. It's it's a, it's an awesome work, <laughs> and it's, it's so powerful stuff is gonna happen today. I feel it. Yeah. All right. So you had me write questions, and then he also had me write, I guess, healings or yeah. healings that I, I would want to have right. done today. How, right. how does that work? Um, so what happens is. Um, Clients that come see me, they bring a list of questions as part of the technique. A list of questions of, of stuff that you ever always wondered about, about your life, your career, financial situation, love life, um, you know, answers. Why, why did this happen to me? Why um, am I stuck right now in life? And um, it could be anything you're going through in life. When we connect to the subconscious, higher self, all the answers to those questions come through. Do you think it's something that I'll be connecting with those answers throughout the day, throughout the month, oh, definitely. immediately, or both? Definitely. It could be a gradual thing, it could be instant, but what this does, well, this is why I love this technique, it establishes a connection to your higher self. Get to trust it. Trust that intuition. So when you receive the answers, you're kind of doubting, just trust that because it's never wrong. Yeah, so. I mean, and it's, it, that's the best way to just test it, right? Just right. go with it and then see if, hey, it worked for me, then right. I'm, I should listen to it more. Exactly, you know, but most of the time the ego gets in the way, which is a conscious, yeah. and then we start doubting. Which we all have that. All have that. Everybody that's come here, including myself, you know. We, me too. Are there like several steps? You said first is past lives, then healing. Yes. What exactly are you going to be doing on me today? I'm not doing anything. 90% of this technique is the client it's a more it's a self-empowering technique it's remembering who we are we're truly masters and we've forgotten that so what this does is brings in that higher bigger part of you brings it in and reminds you how powerful we are we can heal ourselves we have all the answers it's just tapping into that state into that into that stillness and receiving all the answers now don't expect an entity to come through and give you yeah. no it's who you are <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's just energy flowing. It's energy flowing. and, and Energy from the universe, from yeah. God, from... Yeah, 
we're, we're in that state of the Akashic Records where all the answers lie. We're tapping into that and pulling that in and receiving that. And we're giving ourselves healings. I mean, powerful yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, I, I tell my subscribers all the time that they are powerful creators. All of us right? are. We need to remind ourselves that we're masters already. To embrace it. Embrace it. So yeah. I'm ready to embrace it. Are you ready? Help me embrace Let's do it. it. Let's do it, Marlo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back it didn't feel like two hours lives. though. It felt like, for me, it felt like maybe 20, 30 minutes. For those who are thinking, wow, your mind could just be making all these things up and blah, 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 blah. What do you have to say to those people? It's, it's a story, a story, even if you, you don't have to believe in past lives, but there's always a story there that connects into the present lifetime. Always a connection there, um, a reminder of something that's- A metaphor? Metaphor, yeah, it's always like a, a, a a reminder of what's going on in the present um, lifetime. So you don't have to be, you don't have to believe in past life to, to do a session like this. You know, just allow and trust whatever you receive to come through and no expectations, you know? Which is what I had yeah. when I came in here today. I came here just thinking, okay, I'm gonna receive healing. And I didn't know which type of healing. I, I do feel like I received healing through understanding. I just thought, regardless if I'm making it up or not, if it's gonna help me, right. then why not? Why not just go for it? Why not just try it out? Why right. not just give it a try, give it right. a chance, and then after you're done, you could be like, you know what? It just sounded like BS to me, or 
like myself and many other of your clients and yourself. Thousands of people. Yeah. I got so much from it. Right. One of my teachers, Brian Weiss, which a lot of people know. Of many life, many masters. Uh, he was my teacher and he, he says, um, um, sometimes these images could be like metaphors that she was saying and the metaphors could be the rope to pull you in further. And once you allow that and trust, this whole movie starts unfolding. It's what's most appropriate into the present. That's what the subconscious shows you. A life that's most appropriate to what the current now, to what's so that's, going on. that aids to the healing. That, exactly, yeah. Okay. But the most important part of this technique <clears throat> is when we connect to the subconscious. This is a part that answers all the questions. 90% of the client. 90% of this is the client. I'm just facilitating, I'm just guiding you to the journey. It, it is just a deep state of mind to yeah. people that want to better understand it. Yeah. It's just pretty it's much. It's an awareness. Yeah, it, it's almost like, well, it is a hypnosis, but you're aware, you remember. It's not like yeah, nobody's aware. taking over your body. I felt like. I was able to move, I felt like I was able to stand up and be like, I want I want out, but yeah. I wanted to stay in there and I did feel like my ego wanted to get in the way. Yeah. Oh the conscious. What are you telling yeah. yourself? Uh, this and that, you're crazy. But you know what? I just I I accepted it and I was like, okay, I accept that I'm telling myself all of that, but then I also just want to experience. Mm -hmm. And by wanting to experience without expectations i was able to just let that energy flow the energy of my higher self of my right. of my true self right you ask the the, the conscious the, the ego side you ask him to step aside for a little while and once you do that all the answers come flowing through bam 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 sometimes when people leave here i don't know what happens but then months later i get testimonials from people like my whole life completely shifted after that session um i received a powerful healing my pain went away. Since you're talking so passionate about what you do, I know you're leaving somewhere now and I want you to tell us what you're going to be doing because I'm super excited for you and I want you to share your thoughts and what you're doing with the world. Well, I'm going to Bolivia. I'm starting my book there. I'm writing my book. I'm going on a lot of travels this year. You've That's been everywhere. I mean... Trey <laughs> Ryan Wise, Dolores Cannon, which is the teacher of quantum healing hypnosis technique. And I'm so grateful for that because I was in her last class before her passing. And it was so meant for me to be there. So it was lucky. So meant for me to be there. Oh, reconnected healing. Yeah, Eric Pearl um, with the frequencies of reconnected healing. You should see him on Instagram, okay? I'm gonna leave all his information, don't worry. It's gonna be down there. But you should see him on Instagram. How many friends he has? Right? I have friends all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're doing great things, Thank you. Carlo. Thank you, I appreciate that. Now I'm in Miami. If any of you in Miami want to come visit me, she'll give you my information. Yes. Thank you. You're doing something great for the world, for yourself, for others, for everyone. So thank you. I love you. Thank you. Me too. Mm.